Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I want to talk about how I made about $100 in profit last last month um, selling cereal. Before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so I've talked about it before. I uh, I do love selling cereal. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I kind of think it's funny that people will spend so much for cereal. Uh, but I do really enjoy uh, selling cereal. Uh, I do get it mainly at grocery outlets and um, big lots. Sometimes I get some at Walmart, um, not like all the time. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some examples. But basically, you just go to the store and you just scan cereal. What I typically try to to look for is like branded stuff. So, for example, um, like um, Minecraft has a cereal, and I'm going to show you the profits I made off of Minecraft cereal. You know, you just go to the store and you scan it. Uh, you know, Jojo Siwa had uh, has cereal as well. It doesn't sell very well. Uh, PJ Masks, you know, they have Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Uh, these are all stuff that I have sold in the past. You know, Peeps has cereal. You know, all these uh, different brands will get in there on the cereal. And, uh, you know, those are the ones that seem to sell really well. Wendy's even has a frosty cereal. The price is really low on it, but it sells pretty good. I think it had a pretty good sales rank. But even Wendy's has their own cereal now. So those are kind of what I look for, or like special flavors, like uh, like there's a Cheerios yogurt flavor that I'm going to show you guys. And um, those are the kind of things that I look for. So let's look at this. So we're going to start, uh, you know, I've, ta I've shown this one before. But it's a uh, Count Chocola cereal, uh, a four pack. I got it for three dollars and ninety six cents each um, at Grocery Outlet. I pretty much bought all they had last time I was in there. But you can see the price had even um, gone up through the day, and I was making pretty good money on it. Ten dollars a box on uh, or for four boxes out of these four units. And with these, I have some giant poly bags. I have just in case anything big comes up. Uh, I can't remember the exact size, but it's like two foot by like three foot or something like that. They're massive. And that's what I used for these. You know, I didn't like box them up or anything like that. I used, you know, giant poly bags. But, you know, just this one ASIN alone, I made $51.42. Not too bad. And it was all within, say, about 36 to 48 hours. See the 22nd through the 23rd. You know, it was real quick and easy money. Yeah, here's some just some Cheerios, strawberry, banana flavor. You know, they say it's gluten free. You know, I didn't make a ton; made about a dollar fifty um, a box. You know, nothing special, but you know, right now, as I've discussed in length in this channel, um, times are tough right now for Amazon sellers. And uh, you know, you can see I sold them all within three days four days you know sometimes you just got to take the what you can get and I was getting about 37 to 40 percent return on investment on these and I believe I got this at Walmart because they raised the prices to 396 yeah for cereal you know and those of you that might live in you know like maybe Arkansas I don't know where anybody's from but in places that are cheaper I'm in California everything is more expensive here you know in other parts of the country maybe this cereal will be cheaper for you I don't really know grocery prices outside of California but um, you might be able to even get this cheaper and you can maybe make more money than than I was you know but I'll take I'll take a real quick and easy what's that say 16 10 bucks I guess I made here I'll take it it's better than the zero dollars I would have made if I didn't send it in and then here's the minecraft cereal I was talking about here you know got it for 392 it's made four dollars and almost five dollars on this one the price to drop this one used to sell like crazy and the sales uh, velocity has, has dropped I guess people kind of got over it um, I've sold this cereal for as much as like $18 a box before. Let's see. Let's go back further. Let's go back like say three months. Sorry, give us a second. Populate. Oh, $16.49. But you can see it was selling much faster back in March. You know, but uh, yeah, sold it for $18 here. So I'm about three boxes here. You know, so I've made quite a bit of money on this cereal this this year 
it's about say about seventy dollars I probably made on the Minecraft cereal in 2022 which might not seem like a lot but look at this ROI you know this is very good ROI but I've been selling this for over a year but uh, it's kind of lost its appeal and people aren't buying it as much as they were like a year ago but still specialty cereals like this that are branded like that they they usually have a market for those uh, next just some regular Apple Jack cereal uh, you know 14 ounce box just bought them for uh, 271 each was making 298 <clears throat> excuse me you know and I would think to ever buy Apple Jacks on the internet but apparently these people were more than happy to sold a total of seven boxes I think I got these at big lots yeah got it at big lots and um, you know made about 22 23 dollars off of this you know real quick and easy money I mean it looks like the sales were kind of spread out but I'll still take it because it never even went through a, a second month of being in the warehouse and then the last one I was going to show you guys is some Fruit Loops with marshmallows um, they like pretty much every kind of cereal has marshmallows Fruity Pebbles has marshmallows uh, I, I think they even make Frosted Flakes with, with uh, marshmallows and stuff nowadays. And um, a lot of these don't stick around for a long period of time. They come in for a season. And then when Walmart and Target and these other stores, they uh, once they decide to do their quarterly reset or maybe semi-annual reset, um, a lot of these cereals go and some other gimmick takes its place. But these gimmick cereals, like, you know, marshmallows with Fruit Loops, that doesn't even sound good to me, honestly. But uh, these gimmick um, cereals do sell really well. This one, I think they only had one box. Was this at DD's Discounts? Yes, I bought cereal to flip from DD's Discounts, and they only had the one box. And um, looks like it actually shipped out today. But, uh, you know, you can make money uh, selling cereal. You can see here through these five examples, I made about $100 uh, over the last 30 days. And a lot of it did come from here. So even if you took away the $60, I made $40 this month selling cereal, which is not too bad because you wouldn't think to just sell box cereal on Amazon. At least I wouldn't. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and I'm happy to keep selling cereal. I've been sending in more cereal lately, and it actually on the way to the warehouse sent out like another like 10 15 boxes or whatever it was on Monday and it hasn't hit the warehouse yet so that's what I've got for you guys today um, I hope you got some value from this video I recommend scanning cereal it's real quick and easy and people will pay more for cereal online than it's worth by like triple so make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching